Well, I had a client where uh, we uh, were in contract with a house that was only five years old, almost brand new. And so what could possibly go wrong with a house that new? Well, we were doing the home inspection and in the upstairs bathroom, the inspector noticed a little bit of mold in the corner of the bathroom and was not a concern at the time, figured, well, maybe they weren't running the uh, bathroom vent and weren't keeping up on the cleaning, so we had a little uh, mold in the corner. But when he went up into the attic, what he discovered was a huge problem. And that was the uh, builder did not vent the bathroom vent out through the home to the outside. No way. Yeah, yeah way. <laughs> and now the builder's rear warranty is up. It, it is, exactly. And on top of that, the insulation was blown in in a manner where it was covering the soffit vents. So you had a combination how could of... He got, how could he have gotten an occupancy permit when it was a not up to code? I can't answer that question for yeah, you. Later, yeah, later. Yeah. Uh, so we had a combination of moisture in the attic and improper ventilation. Half of the sheathing in uh, the attic was covered with mold. And the inspector says, well, it looks like it may have penetrated into the walls because one of the bedroom closets also was showing signs of mold. If that buyer waived the home inspection, they would have been looking at a bill in the thousands, 20, 30, wow. maybe $40,000. So I always told my clients, if you want to sweeten your offer, do your home inspection, but make it as is. What that means is you're telling the buyers, the sellers up front that you're not going to be asking anything, but you're doing a home inspection to protect your investment.